Right now, you are exercising at the gym, eating your mother's homemade soup, or just simply talking to your friends. But what is common about these actions? They are all functions of the respiratory system. Of course, the respiratory system's main job is breathing. And the respiratory system's main function is to help carry oxygen to all the cells around the body. The main question is, what is happening in the respiratory system? My name is Joseph Carroll, and I will be talking about the respiratory system. Before we see what is happening in the respiratory system, we must review all the parts of this system. The mouth and nose are the first parts of the respiratory system. The nose breathes in oxygen and help filter out dust and other particles as we breathe in air. The mouth also breathes in oxygen, but can even break down food. The trachea is the second part of the respiratory system. The trachea allows the air to move freely in and out of the lungs. And the trachea is also known as the windpipe. The bronchi is the third part of the respiratory system. The two bronchi branches out of the trachea and enters the inside of the two lungs. The two bronchi then divide into sub-bronchi, called bronchioles. The alveoli is the fourth part of the respiratory system. The alveoli are tiny air sacs with capillaries surrounding it, located at the end of the bronchioles. The alveoli exchanges with the blood cells during the process of gas exchangement. The lungs are the fifth part of the respiratory system. The lungs are pink cone-shaped organs located below the ribcage. The lungs are the main organs of the system probably because they manage waste. These two organs stretches while inhaling and shrinks when exhaling. The diaphragm is the sixth part of the respiratory system. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle located below the lungs. This kind of muscle flattens while inhaling and expands while exhaling. The pharynx is the last part of the respiratory system and just helps us swallow. You have reviewed all the parts of the respiratory system. Now we will see how this system works. First, we will see how air moves in and out of the body. Air first enters the mouth or nose, to the back of the throat, and finally down the trachea. Air then moves in the two bronchi and then the bronchioles. The air finally reaches the alveoli and the process gas exchangement occurs. As we are inhaling, the diaphragm flattens. Expelling out carbon dioxide while exhaling does the same process as inhaling, only backwards. And as we exhale, the diaphragm relaxes and expands. Now let's see how gas exchangement works. When the air first reaches the alveoli, the alveoli starts to exchange with the blood cells in its capillaries. The blood cells exchange carbon dioxide into the alveolus, the airspace of the alveoli, and the alveolus exchange oxygen into the blood cells. The oxygenated blood leaves the heart and travels along the aorta through capillaries thinner than hair. As the blood cells approach the capillaries, the oxygen leaves the blood cell and into the body tissues. As the blood cells leave the capillaries, carbon dioxide leaves the body tissues and into the blood cells. Deoxygenated blood returns back to the heart to the lungs, and the process repeats. Let's see how we swallow our food. The epiglottis is a flap that folds over the trachea to allow food pass down the esophagus. The epiglottis folds open to allow the air move in the trachea. Last, we will see how we filter out the air we breathe in. The microscopic hair, called cilia, in your nose help filter out large harmful particles the cilia are found along your air passages and move in sweeping motion to keep the air you breathe clean. Smoking is a very harmful substance to the human body. Let's see why it's so dangerous. One danger of smoking is that it can affect the filtering of the air. Smoking can make cilia stop functioning, causing health problems. And smoking is so thin that they can reach all the way to the alveoli. Another danger in smoking is that it can affect the process of gas exchangement. Smoking can reduce the amount of oxygen to the blood cells. This would be a major problem because less oxygen is transported to the body cells and tissues. The last danger of smoking is that it can cause harmful diseases. 
Two good examples of smoking diseases is lung cancer and emphysema. Emphysema is a disease where the alveoli loses and drops their functional gas exchange area, and the volume of the air reduces. Unfortunately, this video has run out of time, and I hope this video gave out a lot of information for the respiratory system. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next animation.